Declan, four wins in four games for London Wednesday. Is today going to be any different? <sighs> tough game, tough game. Uh, top of the table clash, first v second. We'd like to think that we're going to come away with the three points. Hopefully that's the case. Boys are up for it, got here early, prepared well. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully London Wednesday come away with the three points and stay at the top of the table. Who are you looking towards to make a difference today? Um, to be fair, we've got a few boys on form. Um, there's goals coming from everywhere. Um, obviously the defence as well, they've been spot on this season, keeping clean sheets, left, right and centre. So we keep the goals out and hopefully uh, we'll just take whatever we do, as long as we come away with the three points, that's all that matters. Uh, Hager, Albion Reserves brought in a new manager this season, Michael, who you have a little bit of a history with. Does that add a bit of edge to this game? Yeah, yeah, to be fair, me and Mike like, go back a long way. I've known him off the field, um, obviously on the pitch as well. He actually was my manager at some point like during my career, so um, it's going to be interesting. It, it obviously brings a bit of element to it to the game and makes it a bit more exciting, so hopefully the underdog manager can come out on top. Not to be too cliche, but can you give us a score prediction? Um, I'm going to go with 4-0, London Wednesday. Daniel, big game coming up. Two unbeaten teams. We've got three wins in three in the league. Is today going to be any different? Um, we don't know much about them. Our manager knows quite a lot about them. He knows they're a good side. So hopefully we can start well. We start slow sometimes. And if we start slow, we get punished by a good team. So hopefully we can start well, have a, have a good first half, and then we go in the second half full of confidence. You've had a positive start to the season. A very impressive cup run last year. A lot of new faces. What does that say about your ambitions for this year? We, the new faces we, we brought in are top of the range. They could play, if they were fit, they could play Saturday football for most sides. So I'm not worried about the new faces. We're, we're, we gel well. We're, 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 we argue. We, 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 we like any Sunday team, mate. We argue, we fight. But at the end of the day, it's all love. So hopefully we can carry on that all, all the way through the season and get some good cup runs going on. So I'm very confident. Every team has its strengths and weaknesses. Who do you see making a difference today? Um... Definitely, definitely the baby boy up front, um, um, Alfie Francis. If he start, if he's if he's on it, he's, I'll guarantee he's the best striker in this league. But it's easy as well; it's not even close. So him definitely, and probably our centre midfielders. We got energy in there today. So hopefully, if we can, if they can get a battle place and they can and they can um, set pace on the game, definitely they can change the game for us. But if if Alfie's on form and he's and he's firing all cylinders, definitely, um, definitely the boy up top. Plus we got Joe Joe Killing back up top as well. If he's on form as well, they both got great strikes as well. So hopefully they can let some go today. We looked at Alfie to set the tone. Do you see this being? A close game, a tight affair? Well, on paper it says it's going to be a close game. I look at their side, they're quite a big side, so it's going to be a physical game. Um, I, I, I don't see any team running away with it today, but you never know, heads can go, red cards, yellow cards, you know, if things can change in it. So hopefully get our foot on, a, get our foot on the gas early doors and um, set pace on them. <laughs>
Raimi's world away. Nick, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Why don't you drop yeah. it? Yeah, but off. yeah, but you two need to push up a little bit more. We are, but then one get in between us and play in between the lines. If you all talk, then you can do any situation, yeah? Just If you just talk to each other and bring each other in, that's it. But boys, this is it's fucking not over, is it? You know no, what I mean? Long way to go. Long, long way, way to go. go. Uh, they're fucking rushing. The they fact, that gonna... fucking, what's his name? What, the, 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 the lump. The, 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 the lump at left back, mate. He's shocking, man. And the fucking captain as well. Fucking hell. Listen, uh, they're going to get... come out now and try and toast the game off at 1 0. That's they're going to be their game plan. We've got to keep fucking giving it some attacking, keep going, keep going. But the next chance, boys, wherever it goes, so I don't care if it falls for fucking hey, Alex. Give him another chance. It fucking goes in the back of the net, boys. We've had enough chances. Trust your teammates, man. Like. When, when there's a man on, you don't oh, want to no. give the ball from a throw or anything. Yeah, like, talk, they're going to be buzzing now after them sit down 1 0 up they just before half time. It. They don't deserve it, but yeah, the reality is they're 1 0 up with. So when they're moaning about we should have done this pass, we should have. Oh, I don't give don't a fuck. Worry, yeah. Don't hear it, don't care. Yeah. Let's get the 1 0 win or the 2 0 or 2 1 and we go home happy. Yeah. Boys, yeah? Go. Come on, yeah? Take all this fucking league, boys. Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh, 
Stay, 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 Joe. Stay, Joe. Hey, 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 Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Boys, congratulations on the win, still undefeated. Did you think the game would be that comfortable with 4-0 as a final score? Um, uh, to be honest, I don't think it was a com I don't think it, I wouldn't call it comfortable. I'd say that uh, you know our quality showed. We played together. We bossed it in in patches, but they had they had spells, and that's when you know as a team we had to come together and do the right things, good habits, work hard. Men like this in our side, you know, we're always going to give teams trouble. Your goal seemed to make a difference. Can you tell us a bit about what happened there? Went in like a flash. Um. So yeah, usually from corners, you know, I do a job, I screen the back four, but on this occasion, I went, I went forward a little bit more. Ball dropped on the edge. I, I hit it with the swinger with the left. I think it was a clean strike, but that got, that got intercepted. It came back out, I had a second bite of the cherry and, you know, no mistakes, bottom bins. Rumours are it was a topo, can you confirm that? Nah, 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 nah. So I was saying, so which hunt? They see quality, they're, they're, not, they're unaccustomed to seeing people hit it that cleanly with the instep. That's all. It happened too fast for their eyes. <laughs> Rainey, we saw you get into it with a couple of opposition players down on that right-hand side. Were the mind games effective today? Uh, I think it's part of my game, to be fair. I thought it was always a big battle. It's top of the table clash. Um, there's always going to be that little bit of rivalry, competitiveness. For me personally, I, I, that's my game and I, I, know, I don't want to take it out of it. I thought that, you know, there was a lot of talk about their number 11 today, especially from outside the camp and then obviously knowing inside the camp. And I thought that I played really well against him. And I thought that I pocketed him. And, and it, he got frustrated, and then in the end, you know, we got the victory, and we, so we deserve that. Oh, he's still in there. Isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Vision told us that the game wasn't as comfortable as the scoreline might suggest. Would you agree with that? No, like I said, we went one up at a crucial time. To be fair, just before the break, um, that obviously it's a good time to get a goal, and then we come out. And they had, they had, they also had periods in the second half for like the first 15, 20 minutes. And I thought once Vision got that great goal, and then we started to take control of the football match, and they had to, they had to gamble and force. And then we you know, as I said, we took control of it, got a couple more goals, and now we go top of the table and we take control of this league, I and mean, we deserve to. As you said, top of the table, still unbeaten. What does that say about your ambitions and hopes for this league? Uh, we take game by game. Uh, game by game, we'll keep working hard as a team. You know, there's going to be hiccups along the road, but we have to stay together, stay true to what we do, keep playing football, and hopefully we can get the results as, as we go by and then go into you know, bigger and better things. Well, thank you for your time. Congratulations Cheers, on the win and a very dominating performance from you both.